So, uh, in last lecture, we just discuss what are the various pins of ADC uh, 804 analog to digital converter. Now, there are few uh, terms we must know when we are using ADC, and in one is step size. step size. So basically the meaning of step size is uh, it is the minimum analog input voltage which is required to uh, send the digital output to next consecutive state. And the step size is given by the formula uh, uh, maximum allowed analog input analog input divided by number of steps so to find out the step size maximum allowed analog input divided by number of steps here number of steps number of steps is given by 2 raised to the power n where n is equal to number of digital output lines so in case of uh, we are talking about 804 ADC. In case of 804 ADC, a number of digital output lines are 8. So due to this, the number of step size will be 2 raised to power 8 and this will be 2 raised to 256. Now maximum allowed analog input. It will vary depending upon the position of V reference by 2 pin. So if V reference by 2 is open, under that condition maximum allowed analog input will be 5 volt. And if V reference by 2 is suppose 4 volt. In that case, maximum allowed analog input will be uh, no, this is 2 volt. If it is 2 volt, then this will be 4 volt. Means it is in the range of 0 to 4 volt. Here it is in the range of 0 to 5 volt. So it depends, maximum allowed input voltage, voltage depends upon the V reference by 2 pin. So let us assume. In our application, in our application, the V reference by 2 is open. So in this particular case, the step size will be uh, 5 volt because when the V, v, v reference by 2 is open and in that case maximum allowed input voltage will be plus 5 volt. So 5 volt divided by number of steps is 256 so if we calculate this then we will find So we have calculated the step size here in this case. So step size is 19.5 millivolt for 0 to 5 volt 
input rich. Now suppose this is our ADC. This is V in plus pin. This is V in minus pin. And uh, this is V reference by 2. We have already connected the chip select to ground. This is uh, CLK in. Suppose here we have connected a clock of 606 kilohertz. And this is our digital output line D7 to D0. This is start of conversion pin, end of conversion pin, and read bar. And here it is plus 5 volt. Analog ground, digital ground. So now in this case, we reference by 2 pin is open. So our step size is 19.5 millivolt. Now as I told you, it is the minimum analog input signal which is required to send the digital output to next consecutive state. Suppose our digital outputs are these D7, D6, D5, D4, D3, D2, D1, D0. And let us assume uh, V in. What is the V in here? V in is V in plus, uh, we write here, uh, V in plus minus V in minus. This V in minus is ground. So it is V in plus. So whatever we will apply at V in plus that is our V in. So here V in. Suppose V in is 0. Input voltage is 0. If input voltage is 0 then output will be 0. In acceleration it is 0, 0. H. Now if the step size is 19.5 millivolt, then this is the minimum input voltage required to send the output to next consecutive state. So suppose here if at V in plus uh, we are having a signal of suppose 5 millivolt. If 5 millivolt we have applied, then output will remain same because to change the output to next consecutive state. What is the next consecutive state? Next consecutive state is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. This is the next consecutive state from this state. That is in acceleration, that it is 0, 1 H. So to generate this output, you have to minimum apply here a voltage 19.5 millivolt. So if we will apply 5 millivolt, output will not change. Right? So output will change if we apply 19.5 millivolt here. 19. If it is 19.5 millivolt, then at the output if we measure, then we will find it is uh, 0, 0, 0,01 H is the output. Now, now from 19.5 millivolt, suppose the input raise, uh, raise to 25 millivolt. Now, what will happen? Now, output will not change from this state to ne next state because minimum 19.5 in this range, multiple of 19.5 millivolt, that voltage is required. So, to go from this state to next state, we require uh, uh, 19. 38, 39, we require 39 millivolt. If we apply here 39 millivolt, 
then output goes from this state to next consecutive state of this state. So that is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 2, H. And from this state to next state, next state will be 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, means 0, 3, H. For this state, to change the state from this to this, what should be the V in? Now V in should be add in this 19.19 step size, you add in this step size. So this will be uh, 58.5. So means if we apply 58, uh, 57, uh, 9, 39, 58.5, 58.5 millivolt. So if we apply 58.5 millivolt, then we will get this output. So now, uh, thus this ADC is sensitive here to 19.5 millivolt. Now to increase this sensitivity, right? Or in other word, if let us assume with V reference Y3 uh, or the input voltage range now we require the input voltage range from 0 volt to uh, 3 volt okay 0 to 3 volt because suppose we, we are having some sensor and we know that that sensor in our particular application will, will measure some physical quantity and that physical quantity will be in that range in such a way the sensor is generating only the voltage in this range then there is no need to keep the voltage range of 0 volt to 5 volt because if the voltage range is from 0 volt to 5 volt then this ADC will be less sensitive to this input voltage because from 0 volt and up to this, in between this voltage, there is no change in the output. This ADC is not sensing any change, right? So to make this ADC to sense the lower voltage, right? Voltage less than 19.5. What we will do? We have to reduce the step size. How we can reduce the step size? See in this formula, number of steps. Number of steps is constant. It is 256 because num it is 2 raised to power n. n is number of digital output lines. So number of digital output lines is constant. We cannot change this in the IC. So here this is constant. Only thing is maximum allowed analog input voltage. That we if we are able to reduce that, then the step size will also reduce. So how to reduce the maximum allowed input voltage range by connecting suitable voltage at V reference by 2. So here, suppose we have connected plus 1.5 volt. With, we have connected plus 1.5 volt with V reference by 2. Then what will happen? The input voltage range will become now 0 to 3 volt. If the input range is 0 to 3 volt, then what will be the step size? Then the step size will be for 0 to 5 volt input range. Uh, the 3 volt divided by 256. So we will calculate this. divided by 256 11.7 millivolt this is 11.7 millivolt now this is the step size so now this is the step size now what will happen if input is 0 then output will be this 0 it is same. Now if we apply the input in 19.5 millivolt, then in the previous case 
when the step size was 19.5 millivolt. Uh, in this case, if in place of 19.5 millivolt, if we apply a voltage 11.7 millivolt, then the system will go to net state. This. This means now our ADC is sensitive to 11.7 millivolt, which was not sensed by our ADC previously. Now from, 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 from going from this state to this state, we require now 11.7 multiplied by 2. So it is uh, 4, 3, 2. Now 23.4 millivolt. If we apply 22.4 millivolt, then system will go to this state. It will generate 0 to H. Now, in this we add 11.7, then it will be 1, 5, 3. So, so if it is, if the analog input voltage is 13.5 millivolt, 13.35.1 millivolt, then output will be this. This is the digital output, right? So, this digital output was previously generated when the input was 58.5 millivolt at that time you were getting this digital output but now this digital output we are getting when we are applying a voltage of 35.1 millivolt so in this way in this way we can change the uh, sensitivity of this adc now one question is suppose at the output, at the output we are getting some digital value, okay, then what will be the analog input for that particular digital value, how to calculate that. Now let us take uh, the example, when we are having a step size of suppose 19.5 millivolt. Suppose this is the step size and <coughs> or suppose if this is the step size and we have applied a analog input voltage and if V in is let us assume uh, 160 millivolt so here we have applied now this V reference Y2 is open so if it is open so the input voltage range will be 0 to 5 volt. This is V in. V in range. Right? And suppose we have applied here a 160 millivolt. Suppose we have, we have connected one sensor. That sensor is sensing some physical quantity and it is generating a analog signal of 160 millivolt. So if this is the analog input, then what should be the digital output? How to calculate that? So for calculation of that digital output, we will apply one formula. <coughs> digital output. We will apply the formula. V in divided by step size. So if V in is 160 millivolt and step size is 19.5 millivolt. So we divide it and we find the answer now. One sixty divided by nineteen point five. It is eight point two. So it is eight point two in decimal. So change it in the round figure. So it is eight D. Now convert this in eight bit binary value. So convert this in 
8 bit binary value. Why we are converting in 8 bit binary? Because this ADC generates 8 bit digital data, right? So we require 8 bit data. If our ADC is having a 10, 10 bit ADC, means uh, this digital output lines are 10 bit, so we have to generate the 10 bit data. So here we will convert this in 8 bit. So it is 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0. This is in binary. And equivalent to hexadecimal, this is 0, 8, x. So if at the output time, so this is at D7 and this is at D0. So at the output digital line, if we are having this digital value, right, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0. And we know that our V reference by 2 pin is open. Then if we have to find out what should be the, what will be the input at that time, input analog signal. So how we will calculate? So the analog input at that particular moment was 160 millivolt. Or we will take another example, if the analog input is suppose uh, 723 millivolt. Then under this condition what should be the digital output? So simply here uh, digital output will be V in. V in means applied input voltage. So this digital output will be given by applied. Applied input voltage divided by step size. So applied input voltage is 723 millivolt divided by step size is 19.5 millivolt. So in this case now it is 723 divided by 19.5. So this will be 37.08 in decimal. So convert this into uh, a down figure. So this will be 37 in decimal and convert this in uh, 8 bit binary. So 8 bit binary will be uh, this is 8 16 32. So 0 0 1. So this 8 is 32. Right? We require 37. Then this 0 then this 0 then this one right its weight is 4 36 0 1 the weight of this one is 1 right so uh, these weights are 8 4 2 1 16 32 64 and 128 we require 37 so 1 and 1 and 1 here so this 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1. This is in binary. And in hexadecimal it is 2. This is 2. And this is 5. 25H. So if the applied analog voltage is 723 millivolt, then the digital output we will get 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1. Right? If our V reference by 2 pin is open, if we change this, right, if we change this, then our uh, values will change because we will say one case, if let us assume our step size is 11.7, right, because here suppose we have connected 1.5 1, 1 uh, 1 volt, okay. If it is 1.5 volt, then the input range was 0 to 3 volt. We already calculated. And, and in this case, 0 to 3. So in this case, I think we calculated the step size it was 11.7. Then I will confirm. Mm -hmm. Three divided by two fifty-six. 
Yes, 11.7. So, in this case, the step size is 11.7 millivolt. So, if the input voltage is 160 millivolt, in that case, now this value will change. This value is 160 divided by 11.7. 160 divided by 11.7 so this will be 13.7 this will be 13.7 in decimal we convert it in round figure so it will be 14 in decimal and 14 decimal you write it in decimal in binary so it will be 0 0 0 0 and 1 1 1 0 in binary this in hexadecimal it is 0 and this is e 0 e h so previously when the step size was 19.5 millivolt then with the 160 millivolt we were getting 0 8 h but now with reducing the step size now the step size is 11.7 millivolt right 11.7 millivolt then we are getting an output of 0 e x so in this way we can change the sensitivity of this adc okay so now in next lecture we will just interface this adc with our microcontroller and we will we will write the program uh, how to read the values from these ADC and how to process those values with certain applications.